Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how you can translate your Unreal Engine project into multiple different languages or whatever language you want. So I have this main menu project. If I just go here to my language options, I can translate my game into English, Spanish or French. Let's say I click on the Spanish button, it will translate my game into Spanish. You can already see it's changed the language into Lengua and the back button now says Atrás for back and it's translated my whole main menu into Spanish. So, in this video, let's go over how you can quickly and effectively translate your game into multiple different languages. So, I'm in the third person template. To get started, I'm just going to add some text in my game that I want to translate. So, I'm just going to go here, quickly add things to the project, and look for a text renderer actor. I'll select it. I'm just going to rotate it. And I'm going to make this say hello. And I'm going to make it so I can translate my game into English and Spanish. You'll be able to translate your game into as many languages as you want. The process will be exactly the same. One thing to note when you're translating things inside of Unreal Engine, it will translate everything which is the text element or variable. So this is a text element, so it will translate it. If you have an element which is like a string, then Unreal Engine will not translate it. It will only translate text elements. Now let's start the process of translating our game project. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go over to Edit, then Project Settings. We basically need to configure the languages we want our game to be exported in when it is packaged. So we just want to go over to Project Settings, Packaging, scroll down. We want to go over to Advanced, and then this will basically show us all of the different languages which is going to package our project in. English should be checked by default. So here it is. Although we can have different dialects of English, so let's say you wanted to export your game to English, Antigua, and Barbera, we can just click this. In this tutorial, I want to showcase how to export this to another language. I'm just going to pick Spanish, so I'm just going to scroll down and look for Spanish. Again, you can select the different dialects, but it's just recommended to just select Spanish, and then that will include all of the below as well. So I'm just going to select Spanish. And if you don't want all of these different dialect options when we are setting up our languages, we just want to select Show Localized. And then when we export our game, let's say when I selected Spanish, it's just going to include all of the different dialects of Spanish under the main Spanish category. So I'm just going to have this on Show Localized. Then we want to just scroll down. And then we'll see Internationalization Support. Just change this to be all. Right now it's just set to English. If say your game was in English, French, Italian, German, and Spanish, then you can select this one. Or maybe it's in Chinese, Japanese, and Korean, you can just select this one. Although if you're adding many different languages, just select all. That way it can be compatible with many different languages. So I'm just going to select all and then close this. So now we've configured that our game will basically be able to export our game to different languages. The next thing we need to do is make it so we can have different languages in our project. To do that, we just want to go over to Tools, go over to the Localization Dashboard, and then we need to basically configure and define all of the parts of our game that we want to translate. To do that, we just need to select this box, Gather from Packages, expand it, then we want to go to Include Path Wildcards, just click Add Element, and then here we can specify all of the folders that we want Unreal Engine to translate for us. So I'm just going to click here, choose a directory, and I'm going to select my content folder and it's going to basically find all of the text elements in my content folder and allow me to translate them. So I'm just going to go select folder and it's going to basically allow me to translate everything in the content folder. Okay, once I've done that, we then just want to go here where it says add new language and I'm going to be adding the Spanish language. So here under the search, I'm going to look for Spanish because that's the language I set up in my product settings. And then a very important thing, just make sure you select the native to English so just like yes, this is the standard default language of our game. So make sure it's set to English. Okay, once you've done that, just select this gather text. Save everything. This will basically gather all the different text elements and files inside of our content folder. Okay, once you've done that, you can then just select OK. Then we just want to go here where it says edit translations for this culture. And then this will show me all of the different text elements I have in my project. So we can see the hello. This basically 
is representing the hello that I have in my map here. And then here I can write the translation for how I want it to appear in the Spanish version of my game. So in Spanish, hello is just hola. So I'm just going to type in hola. Then I can just save this. I'll get this little notification here, letting me know that I saved this. And if say I close this, if I go back to my localization dashboard and I click edit translations, I can see all of the completed translations that I've done. So I've translated hello into hola for my Spanish. I'm not going to translate the other elements, but if say I wanted to, I could just easily do that. If say there's an element of text that you didn't want to have a translation for, what we could do is I could just close this and if I go to my third person map, let's say I didn't want this text element to be translated, I could just click this little flag and then here I have this little localize option. If I just have this unchecked, then when I gather my text, it won't gather this text. So if there are certain text elements you don't want to be translated, just make sure that localize is unchecked. By default, it will be checked. Once you're happy with all of the text that you've translated, we can just close this window, go over to our localization dashboard and click compile text. This will compile all of the translations that we have made in our project. Once it's done, you can just select OK. We can then just go over to our third person map. And an important thing to note, when you're testing translations in Unreal Engine, you can only really test them in the exported version of Unreal Engine. So if I play my game and I try to translate it to Spanish, it wouldn't work. I need to make sure that I'm in standalone game so that I'm simulating how my project will be when it's exported. In order to basically write some blueprint code in order to dynamically translate this language, I can just go over here, go over to open level blueprint. I can just right click and I can press the one key. And when I press the one key, I'm just going to drag up here and translate my game into Spanish. So I can just right click here and I'm going to set current culture. And then in order to translate this into Spanish and get the culture of this, if I just close this and I go over to my localization dashboard, if I just hover over Spanish, it says ES. So that is the culture of Spanish. If I hover over the English, it says EN. So that is the culture of English. So if I just go back to my level blueprint, here in the culture, if I type in ES, this will translate my game into Spanish. And then I'm just going to right click and look for the two key. And I'll just copy this and paste it. When I press 2, I'll translate my game into English. So I'll type in EN. And then if you want to make it so when you translate your game into another language, it saves it. Just expand this and click Save to config. That way, if so, I translate my game into Spanish. If I close it, then I reopen it again. My game will be in Spanish. So I'll just save this to the config, compile this, and let's test this out. Make sure you test this out in standalone game. Then go play. OK, so I'm in an exported game. If I press 1, we can see that will translate my game into Spanish and it says hola. If I press 2, then it'll translate my game back into English. And just like that, it's that simple to set up translations for your game inside of Unreal Engine. And if you'd like to learn how I made this professional main menu with multiple different languages and all the essentials that you need when making a main menu and a pause menu in your game, make sure to check out my professional main menu course and all my other courses. There'll be a link to it in the description of this video. With that said, bye.